Two-cell Chinese Braille was designed in the 1970s and is used in parallel with traditional Chinese Braille in China. Each syllable is rendered with two Braille characters. The first combines the initial and medial, the second the rhyme and tone. The base letters represent the initial and rhyme, these are modified with diacritics for the medial and tone. Thus each of the braille cells has aspects of an abugida. <laughs> braille charts Onsets <laughs> 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 The first cell indicates the initial, generally in dots 1 to 4, and the medial in dots 5 and 6. This design exploits restrictions on co-occurrence of initials and medials to fit all the allowable combinations in a single cell. The medial I is represented by dot 5, the medial U by dot 6, and the medial U by both dots 5 and 6. The ZCS series is derived from ZHCH shish as if they contained I medial. These two series are not distinguished in many Mandarin dialects. As in traditional Chinese Braille, KGH and QJX are unified, as they never contrast. A null, zero initial a vowel initial syllable is indicated with the null consonant. At least one letter in each place of articulation comes from international use, F, T, L, K, Xi, ZH, with at least some of the others derived from these CF, KHG and CH shish ZH. Topic. Rhymes Topic. The second cell represents the rhyme, generally in the top half of the cell, and the tone, generally in dots 3 and 6. Tone 1 ma is indicated by dot 3, tone 2 ma by dot 6, and tone 3 ma by dots 3 and 6. In rhyme A, which already contains a dot 3, the dot 3 for tones 1 and 3 is replaced by dot 5, or Tone 4 ma and neutral, toneless syllables use the basic rhyme. A null, zero rhyme a syllable ending with medial iuu is written with is the zero rhyme transcribed as i after zcs zhch shish r in pinyin. Here it's also used to carry the tone for syllables where the medial is the rhyme, such as gu or mi. After bpmf, it is equivalent to pinyin u is transcribed in pinyin as o after bpmfw and the medial u, otherwise it's e, the rhyme er is written as if it were asterisk ra, this is possible because asterisk ra is not a possible syllable in Mandarin. At the end of a word, r is or hua, as in, huer, y, within a word, hyphenate or hua, to avoid confusion with an initial r in the following syllable. The exclamation e is, yo is, and o is, with appropriate modification for tone. Topic. Combining onset and rhyme Topic. Combinations of onset and rhyme follow the conventions of Zuyin, and are therefore not obvious from pinyin transcription. For pinyin in, use medial i with rhyme n, for ing, use i and n. For un, the equivalent of wen, use u and n, for ong, the equivalent of weng, use u and n. For iong, the equivalent of yong, though written yong in pinyin, use u and eng. Several syllables are palindromes, with the onset and rhyme written the same. A, bo, mo, tuo, nuan, liao, lu, jing, ching, kun, xiao, hu, zhou, zhang, cho, kang, shan, saya. Toneless or fourth tone zero rhyme is omitted at the end of a polysyllabic word. Words ending in re, re day. Are an exception, to prevent confusion with the erhua suffix, when context makes it unambiguous, the zero rhyme in other tones may also be omitted. Sandy is not rendered, rather, the inherent tone of a morpheme is written. The following are rendered as toneless syllables. Interjections and grammatical particles such as aa, ya ya, wa wa, ba ba, lala, nay nay, ma ma. The verbal aspectual suffixes la la, j j, guo guo. The nominal suffix is zz and 2 tou. Topic: Common abbreviations. Topic: Suffixes. Words. Topic: Homophones. Topic. Some common homophones are distinguished by prefixing with a dot four or five. Or by dropping the rhyme. Ta, ta, he, ta, she, 
Ta it Zai, Zai it, Zai again She, she to be, she thing She as a suffix is, like an initial f the three grammatical uses of non-tonic de are irregular De, attributive de, adverbial de, complement de, often printed Chinese can be contracted, compared to speech, as unambiguous where a phonetic rendition such as braille would be ambiguous, in such cases, the sign, may be used to indicate the omitted syllables. For example, in the clause Lu Kong Jin Yi Bai Lu Kong Jin Ye Bai, Lu Lu means, Diu, colloquial Lu Shui Lu Shui. However, there are several other words transcribed, Lu in braille. To clarify, the shui element of the colloquial word can be added with the prefix lu shui kong jin ye bai. Lu shui kong jin ye bai. In other cases, a synonym may be provided. Here, the prefix is. For example, in print, the meaning of liang and yuan sheng ti liang and yuan sheng ti. From both sides, the voices of monkeys cried out is clear, but in a phonetic script, yuan yuan monkey and ti ti cry can be obscure. The first can be clarified as yuan hu yuanao, primate, and the second with the parenthetical jiao jiao, call. Liang and yuan hu sheng ti jiao. Liang and yuan hu sheng ti jiao when longer parenthetical explanations are provided, the sign is repeated before each word, not each syllable. Topic: <laughs> Numbers. Topic: Numbers are the same as in other Braille alphabets. Use the number sign, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Notes are indicated as, etc., sections as, etc. Topic. Formatting Topic. Is also used for reduplication rather than repeating a syllable or word. When attached to a word, it repeats a syllable, standing alone, it repeats a word. Shu shu duo duo. Shu shu duo duo, shankan, shankan, shankan. Shang qian, shang qian, shang qian. Topic. Punctuation. Topic. Chinese braille punctuation is based on that of French braille, but they are generally split between two cells. This gives them the full width. Feel of print Chinese, as well as avoiding confusion with letters. Topic References. Topic.